everybody. What's going on? Welcome, welcome. It's when, it's Monday. Every other Monday here on Simply Cyber, we are playing Haiku Pro or World of Haiku. And today it's World of Haiku. If you're not familiar with World of Haiku, settle in because you are in for an absolute delight. I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going on with the game before we get into it. But today I'll be explaining what World of Haiku is. I'll be playing it live on stream with you. And I'll be explaining all of the new developments uh, that are coming out over the next couple weeks, the plans that the Haiku people have. This is a really fun platform for learning Linux skills and for learning, you know, basic fundamental pen testing stuff. So if you have no experience doing any of pen testing or any of Linux, World of Haiku, which is what we're going to be in today, is an absolute fantastic option. And it's a lot of fun, good world building. But before I get into it, let me say what's up to chat. Put my flipper zero out of the way here. We don't need that today, do we, guys? I see Kimberly. What's up, Kimberly? Good to see you. Jim Wales in the house. Hey, hope everybody had a solid Monday. Great way to uh, wrap it up today with some gameplays. All right, just waking up, Rywinski. I guess maybe you're somewhere in the future. Thought I was watching the news so official. Oh, Nick Barker, you, you, you left coast love. It's so good. We still got the soundboard. <laughs> got we got the soundboard but on let's plays i love getting the music jamming guys i love love music we're gonna be doing all sorts of fun stuff today nixon networking will get you a job you dang right oh kimberly wait until you see guys wait until you see simply cyber tomorrow it's gonna be popping left coast loves so guys let me uh let me show you what's going on here if i may oh i see this all right so let me show you really quickly what world of haiku is so we're gonna go in here. This is the actual gameplay in Steam, right? So World of Haiku is currently in Steam. Haiku Pro is a cloud-based kind of range type service. So we're focusing on World of Haiku right now. So if you go into the links in the description below, you'll see the link to the Steam game. You'll have to have Steam obviously be able to run Steam and then you can pull down World of Haiku and get into it. I wanna show you though really quickly Right, so this is the World of Haiku website right here, okay guys? And this is worldofhaiku.com, I'm gonna drop it in chat. I know in the links in the description have like ways so they can see that you came from Simply Cyber, but I'm not really worried about that. I'm more interested in you guys getting access to this thing. So that's World of Haiku, and this is Haiku Pro, okay? Because I want it, it took me a minute to realize there's a difference between the two. So this is World of Haiku. You can see they've got uh, great world building, uh, the next generation of cybersecurity learning, play the game, level up as a real life hacker. It's so much fun, guys. Absolutely love it. So I want to tell you just a couple of the features that will be coming, and I'll share them later on stream with you guys. But a couple features that are going to be coming in the near term is there's going to be a uh, subscription model that will give access to continually updated content, including new dojos, which I'll explain uh, in a minute, new missions, new tools, and expanded blue and red team missions. So one of the really cool things of World of Haiku is yes, there's the gameplay and you walk through this kind of elaborate story and you learn skills like John the um, John the Ripper, like the password cracking tool, um, Hydra uh, for, you know, brute force attacks, and then uh, Nmap, which everybody should know Nmap. That's like, that's like ground one. But they're going to be adding more tools, more pen testing tools, right? So with each of those tools, you get a dojo. And the dojo, like basically every time you enter the dojo, it just creates a new instance of endpoints and challenges and flags. And you go get them. So every time you run the dojo, you're, you're working on that muscle memory for your keyboard uh, skills. You're not, um, it's not like repetitive. It's not the same thing over and over again where you're actually not learning. It's like, like when you're learning, um, if you guys have ever taken like a quiz, and like you get some wrong and then you take it again it's the same questions in the same order you don't even like read them anymore you're just like a a d c d a c uh, you know and then the last one that's not how it's working in world of haiku they really thought about it when they did it so in chat who has played world of haiku i'm actually kind of curious uh who's been playing it or who has played it and what their thoughts are about it I see 33 of us here i will get into the game in just a minute here i see gaming with the cat in here Carrie's always up in here. Good to see you. Gridian66, good to see you. Casey Vargas, what's up? This channel gets me so hype about cybersecurity. Heck yeah. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Jenny Housley's up in here. You've played it? Okay, Jim Wales has played it a little bit. I find it fun. 
So, World of Haiku, you'll, Robert, you'll have to go on Steam. I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to misquote it. I think it's like 20 bucks or $25, one-time fee, uh, and you get access to the platform. And like I said, stay with us, um, Robert, because I'm going to be showing you exactly what the game is and how it works and how you can learn and stuff like that so you can see you know, firsthand if it's for you or not. Four or five hours, it's fun. Multiple copies for some young folks. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Ed Williams pointing out that because it is gamified, it's a lot of fun for all different ages and all different skill levels. Oh, Christopher Thomas. Settle in, my friend. You're about to be... Yeah, okay, so Casually Joseph says about 18 bucks. So it's, I mean, it's not prohibitive, right? Yeah, Christopher Thomas, you want to, might want to take your socks off, my friend, because they're going to get blown away. All right, so let's get into it a little bit. I want to show you guys... I'm just kind of keeping it to Green Day today, but I will be taking requests in chat if you guys would like. Um, so let's let's jump into the game, right, guys? We'll play a little bit, then we'll come back. All right. So this is uh, still the web browser. Let me hide that. Here we are at World of Haiku. You can see I'll move my uh, camera down a little bit if I can. Oh no, I can't. I can't. There we go. So we're currently playing on version 1.2.1.F2, uh, 1 it would appear, just so we have that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click in here. I'm going to actually continue. Actually, you know what? Like, so this, th okay, so check it out. I'm going to actually do something interesting. So right here, you can see that there's eight worlds, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll notice that they kind of like flow into each other. The game is on rails, essentially, meaning that they you have to follow it a certain way. And it makes a ton of sense, guys, because literally they teach you to crawl, then walk, then run, and then full out Usain Bolt sprint. Like, it's it's very deliberate the way that they uh, built this platform out so you could learn in an organized way. Um, and then they have, like, little robots that help you along the way. That's really nice. It does not make you feel like you're alone. It doesn't make you feel like uh, you're, like, frustrated trying to figure it out. There's always all sorts of access to help and assistance uh, so you can get into that. So I'm actually going to back out of this, and I'm going to start a new game so you guys can see... Um, what a new game will look like, okay? Actually, before I do that, I, I do want to show you one thing, okay? So there's a couple of things you can do in here, okay? Inside, you can ha you have your username, obviously. You can choose a different avatar, so you can have some uniqueness to it, some fun with it. Um, you can have a faction. So they, they have different factions in the game as you begin to ex understand the world. Uh, Agenda 21 is kind of like the evil people, and since I'm I'm so a good guy in real life, I thought it'd be fun to be the bad guy. Um, and then you can select your country of origin. That way, you can you know have some pride in your in your um, in your country of origin. And on the leaderboards, it'll actually have your name and then actually your flag, so you can represent and be like, oh, what's up? U.S. is in the house, or Guyana representing right here. Guyana getting some love. I do have a uh, I do have a soft spot for Guyana in my heart. All right, let me see. Where's United States? It's so first world problem that like when the U.S. isn't defaulted to the first option, I'm like, oh my god, I have to scroll through this. That's like such a such a problem. All right, so you can go ahead and do that, and then you can share your profile too uh, on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and you could just download the image. So I'm actually going to push this to uh, LinkedIn right now. Let's see what happens. I've never done this. Let's see. Is this going to work? Hold on one second. Um, all righty. I do not know if that works. That functionality may not be in place yet. Um, I just got a huge, huge picture um, and nothing really to do with it. So let me try to push it to Twitter. Oh, cool. All right. So check this out. Guys, look at this. We're learning things on the fly. Um, so it pushed it up to Twitter. And you can see here, check out my World of Haiku profile, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to go ahead and tweet that right now. And we're looking at Twitter. Let's see what my tweet looks like. Oh. 
So it didn't really catch it the way I wanted to, unfortunately. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. But you get the idea. You get the idea. You can post stuff um, on uh, social media, especially as you start leveling up and getting getting um, ranks and stuff like that. All right. Also, they have integrations. Uh, Haiku and Haiku Pro, as I mentioned earlier, Haiku Pro is like the cyber range one, whereas Haiku, World of Haiku is more of like a like a contained world where you do learn real world practical skills, but it's more of a first person experience. Um, and then they have Badger Pro. You can see I'm connected here. I'm not going to show you what this is today, but I will be talking about it uh, on the 21st of November. And this will allow you, this is very cool. This will allow you to accomplish things in the game like, oh, I've learned Nmap. Ooh, I'm really good at, at uh, Hydra. And then I'll get, or I'm good at Linux. And it will put a badge there and then you can push it to LinkedIn uh, and it'll be right there automatically on your profile, which is pretty cool. I, I, you know, I think that that's pretty cool. All right, let me look at chat since uh, you guys are hidden from me right now. Yep. All right, so what are you guys talking about here? It's good to be bad sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so let me go ahead and close this. And let's jump into it. I'm going to back out and start a new game because I want you guys to see exactly what the new game experience looks like, okay? All right. So we're going to start new game right here. And uh, we're going to clear start clear to start a new game. All right, that's fine. I am, so I am streaming on Thursday, Kimberly. Thursday is my birthday. So I am the guest on Thursday. All right, so I can't reverse this, but that's okay. I'm going to go for it. I, you, guys, I'm nuking. I just nuked my profile for the greater good. I nuked my profile for you guys. All right, we'll pick our avatar. Ooh, let's go medium. I would go hard just for uh, flexing, but I don't want to. Um, I don't want to run out of time if I'm talking to you guys, right? So check it out, check it out. This is the world building, okay? The year is 2049. The world has advanced into a highly digitized society where the lines between the internet and real world have blurred. So we've basically gone into this like techno dystopia. Giant mega corporations and covert government agencies fight for control in both worlds. Well, like cyber and real world. Freelance show hackers team operate in the shadows of the grid. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I kind of like this because right now, big tech is just as powerful as government. And with the decentralization of financials um, or like, you know, commerce and economics um, with the way that, you know, cyber military strikes can happen and stuff like that. Like the idea of like, this is our state and this is our yard. Um, th those lines are very fuzzy. We're an orphan. OK, so that's um, that's 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 not good. And we made our way into this broken world, living off the resources we can find. Our identity is our username and our IP address is 192.168.1.2. Now that is kind of funny. Um, however, just as a side joke for those in chat, my, my IP address might be this, but my home address is 127.0.0.1. All right, today's different. Mysterious file appears in your messaging system and it's about to set off a series of unexpected events. Let's see what we got. So this Nitro Messenger right here is basically like our our Palm Pilot or our text message tool, our BlackBerry. All right. Sorceress at G Corp. 192.168.229. Okay. So guys, really quickly, if I'm assuming that like you have no ex previous experience. So I want to point out that right away they start color coding things of different values. So 192.168.1229 is an IP address. If you don't know what IP addresses are, um, you'll learn a little bit more about it. But here comes Gunther. So we've got a couple different guys uh, or you know people helping us. So he's going to help us out on the grid. He's here to protect us. One of our operatives, Sorceress, has gone silent for days now, and she sent you a message. Your life may depend on the clues. I'm going to help you out of this mess. Something big is going down soon, and you're somehow in the middle of it all. Last thing Sorceress said to me was that you needed to find the ghost. Yeah. Am I aging myself with Palm Pilots here? All right. 
I hope that makes sense to you because it doesn't make any sense to me. After the crash of 41, 2041, right? Near future, Cybermancers reverted to a standard Linux operating system developed in the late 20th century. Use of the all but abandoned system provides access to the tools that grid AIs and terrorist factions didn't recognize and against which they were more vulnerable. Because of that, I'll be giving you a crash course in hacking the grid using skills exactly as they would be in the 20th century Linux. And this right here is what I'm talking about. He's teaching us Linux, like modern day Linux, in hacking skills, okay? You need these skills to stay safe. Enter CD application in the terminal to move inside the directory. Directory, see, so here's the cool thing, okay? Guys, he might be storytelling, but this is actual education part right here. Enter this command into the terminal. So this window over here is a terminal window. This is like what Linux looks like, or you can have a GUI in Linux, but most people operate in the terminal, right? A directory contains specific file and folder types, and CD stands for change directory, okay? Now, hardcore Linux people, I will tell you right now, hardcore Linux will scoff and be just absolutely nose up disgusted at the term folder, okay? They're all, it's, they're all, it's files and directories. There are no folders in Linux, but I digress, okay? Application is our target directory. So you can see you follow along CD applications and hit enter, and it tells you immediately. You get immediate feedback that you have achieved the goal. You have done what they're doing. So they put you on rails basically to make sure that you're actually learning the lesson and you're not deviating all over the place and that there's actual instantaneous feedback to either, um, you know, give you a good, good attaboy, like way to, way to go, you did it right, or to give you some type of course correction feedback, which I genuinely appreciate. So let's keep going. We're gonna learn another tool here, PWT, print working directory. We're in the apps folder. So hey chat, can you just let me know is the graphic is like the um is this is the display good? Can you see like what's on state uh like what what I'm playing well enough? Let me know. All right, let's do ls and cd dot dot, which will allow us to go up a directory. All right, now move into the docs directory using the c command. Okay. Now pwd ls. So another thing that they do in this, looks good, thanks Kimberly. So another thing that they do is, like, they just taught me LSCD and PWD, but they make you do it multiple times. Again, guys, I've been in this game a long time. Muscle memory is huge. Like sometimes there's like things I type that like, I'm, like I, couldn't exp I couldn't tell you. I'd have to really think about like, what is it? But like, you're just like kind of hacking away because it's just muscle memory. Like you, you know where you want to go and how you need to get there and you just kind of type it, you know? So by having you do it repeatedly, it's uh, good practice. Hence why the dojos are so useful. All right, so we're going to use cat uh, to read the personal data file. Why is that not working? Hmm, why is that not working? Oh, there it is. Again, we get instantaneous feedback. Also, because it's a game, you can see now we're starting to get some interesting information. We've got a username, IP address, and our password which just as a, an aside is in plain text uh, and you know, lowercase letters and numbers. This might as, well, might as well say winter 2022, but whatever. All right, so we can use man CD, get feedback. Okay, now this is important. Normally you would use man and look, you know, on the terminal shell at like what the man command is. Might, you might grep in inside man to, to kind of parse through it but they give you a gooey pop-up with the linux commands that you've learned so guys we've been playing like two minutes and we've already learned cdls pwd cat and man and we've used them practically so this is another to me this is another thing that i like about world of haiku is like if i just was in a lecture hall and i was teaching you and i wrote cd on the board and i was like cd will allow you to change directories on a linux file system like Yes, you might remember that, but actually typing it in, hitting enter, seeing yourself change directories, that to me has stickiness and resonates. So that that's why, I mean, practically, that's why skills, uh, labs and ranges are so popular right now is because they can really drive home the education. All right. 
Let me keep looking here. I just want to see something really quickly. Where are we at? Okay. 53 of us in here. Hey, InfoSec kid. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. VR would be sick. All right. So uh, he says, we'll find the manual. Guys, pro tip. If you ever uh, are trying to learn Linux or something, man. Okay. So Rascal. We Okay. Hold on one second. We got a new um, buddy here. This is Rascal. Rascal's like our AI buddy. And he documents important stuff, so we don't have to. It's like a scribe, kind of. You can not you can scroll up and down in the chat window, which is cool. I don't really use it too much, honestly, but... All right. So Gungir says, excellent work. Now you have tools to navigate the grid. I'm sending our AI assistant, Rascal, to work with you. He's investigating the new data that's come, but he's given instructions to Rascal to help us. Good job, guys. Good job. Let's go to the next mission, shall we? All right. Well, I wanna, I'm gonna blast through this because I wanna get to the dojos. Oh, by the way, here's another cool thing. These dojos are awesome, but you can't access them until you unlock them. Again, this crawl, walk, run method of forcing you to learn, absorb, not get overwhelmed. A lot of people, dude, if they open the dojos to begin, I'm telling you right now, half the people would just go straight to the dojo and like not understand what they're doing and just be like, bang, 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 bang. Impl and like beginning to learn not good practices. So by doing it this way, you're actually instilling good practices and best practices for learning. All right, so let's see what uh, this dude's all about here. Let me see really quickly. Okay. Uh, he's located the hacked into the G-Core network. The original message of the sorcerer is you can see what username by typing who am I okay this is another like I, I don't use who am I all that often anymore honestly but back in the day when like you'd have share services and Linux if you do like uh, elevate your privileges to root and you don't you want to make sure that you're not doing something as root you might use who is who am I but I don't honestly use it that often all right we're, we're looking for five pieces this so guys we're looking for five flags basically if you're familiar with CTFs that's what's going on here Files are green, directories are blue. All right, let's navigate to the CD directory. So before Gungir was telling us what to type and when to type it, now Rascal is telling us to go to a directory and use this command. So he's still helping us a little bit. Um, let me use ls and go to the documents directory, okay? I'm gonna use ls. I'm gonna start moving a little quickly here. So great. Um, Again, he says, oh, we see this file right here that's interesting. Let's read it. Use the cat command to do it, right? So basically, he's doing the same thing Gungir just did to us. He's having us navigate around, find a file, and read the contents of it, okay? Okay, great job. If you're unsure, you can use the man command. We're sure. Is there patch management in this game? Oh, my God. No. No. That would be hilarious, Omar. But no, this is uh, teaching you Linux and hacking, okay? All right, let's find those five items. Okay, so now we're on our own, guys. We got taught a lesson. We got we got to repeat it a second time. And now we've basically been given um, a challenge to go find all of this stuff right here, okay? So let's, let's move. Ready? I'm just going to start catting through everything. There we go. There's the first thing. Um, and like, this is a little, um, tedious and redundant, but that's what World of Haiku is trying to do is trying to teach you through, um, repeat, you know, like repeating. Now, one thing that just happened that you should be mindful of, and I understand why they do it, but it's it's not explained, and I actually think it's unfortunately a bit of a, uh, a shortcoming. But you can see here, Rascal just moved us. We were on Bianca's computer, and now we're on Hampton's computer, okay? So we switched computers. We are on a network, and we went from one computer and jumped into another one. Now, in order to do that, you can see that he SSH'd in there. And I know that World of Haiku is not trying to confuse people by teaching them SSH right now. But it, I don't know. It, 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 it's just, I don't know how else they would have done it, honestly. But it's just, to me, it's like a little confusing, like when you're jumping into a machine. Um, 
because to me, I'm like, oh, I have to, like later on in the game when they're like, oh, you need to go to this person's machine and then you just click something and Rascal does it for you. It's like, it, it can get a little confusing if you're not paying attention. And I often am talking to chat, not paying attention. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Let's, hold on. Let's, let's change the music up here. Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? All right, so we're still looking for files, right? So let's go into the downloads directory. Read this ACAN report. Read the server details. All right, so we just unlocked a third flag. We are moving around the network now, buddy. Don't call it a comeback. Look at us just picking flags up like it's uh, we're a referee on a Sunday game. All right, um... Go to the downloads. I'm not reading diary. No, thank you. Oh, see, see, you can't cat a directory. You can't. You can only change directory into it. All right, here we go. This looks juicy. Flag. What do we? What do we get? I don't have a. Uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't really have good sound effects. I gotta get a soundboard for World of Haiku gameplays, huh? All right. So see, you can see here they're still doing some of the world building. You know, how curious domain07.gov. The owner must be associated with that Euro 7 group. Well done, Jerry guy. All right, so... Exactly. Gaming with the Cat says it perfectly. Get the basics down. I really hope they make DCL like an 80 environment someday. Yeah, InfoSec Kid... Um, they are, uh, going to be continually updating the content, including new do do new dojos, new missions, new tools, and expanded blue and red team missions. In fact, they just released a blue team mission, um, in late September, early October that I played on stream before. Okay. So gun gear is telling us what's up. He's talking about the Zion key. Probably have, you can see that's something that we're going to need later. All right. All right, you heard the marching orders. Let's get busy. Let me inspect sorceress messages. I wonder if you gave access to a ghost server. All right, let me try to access the IP she sent. Here we go. Oh, see, here's some more education. Remember I told you earlier that they didn't explain what an IP is? They do give you a little bit of a throw here. It's a unique numerical code assigned to a spe specific device on a network. Um, you know what? That is pretty simplified way to put it for someone who's not super technical. So that I, I'll give them an A for that. All right. Oh, so we just jumped on. We're on Sorceress at the computer skull. Um, let's see what's up. Um, let me see. Hold on. I, hold on one second. I just need to do one thing. Hold on one second, please. All right. All right, so that's it. Username and password she sent us got us through. Let's take a look. So now, but by this point, it's like, it's like, you know, I wouldn't really do PWD, right? We're in the home directory, but I would just do LS because normally on a Linux system, when you do LS, you see what directory you're in anyway. So, all right, so here we are. We're going to go through the documents. Ooh, intercepted emails. That sounds juicy. That sounds fun. Let's do intercepted emails. All right. Ooh, acquiring the source. Give me some of that. Nope. Um, give me some of this A deal. No. Give me some of this. No. Give me some of this. No. Oh, yeah. Figures it's the last one. It's always the last one, right? That's me. Last one. Okay, so those IP addresses look important. This is, looks promising money trail. Now remember, because we're still new here, Rascal is taking notes for us like this. But in later on in the game and in real life, if you are like studying to be a pen tester, or you're doing uh, Haiku Pro rooms and stuff like that, you will want to take your own notes. Like, you know, like my notes. Hold on. My notes, right? 
this is interesting. You know, because I, you're gonna cover, you're gonna go through a bunch of boxes, a bunch of machines. You're gonna ha you're gonna get confused. So taking good notes is actually really important um, in the in the practice. So we gotta find this Zion key still. So let's look for that. We're gonna go backwards. Another thing that they don't show you on the Linux terminal that you would normally see in real Linux. Like, you might forget that it's CD dot dot to go back, but whenever you do LS in a Linux terminal, it will show you dot and dot dot and then um, whatever files or directories are inside the current directory you're in. Um, so, you know, don't ever, don't worry about forgetting about the dot dot. Okay, so where are we? Let's go to systems. Let's go to apps. Oh, yeah! We, w we win. All right, so we got the file explorer. We're feeling pretty good about ourselves. You can see here, this is basically like a file explorer like you would see on um, Windows or something like that. It's a GUI. It's a GUI of the terminal shell. As I, as I navigate the file explorer, you'll see the commands put into the terminal shell at the same time, right? See, so he says it's the same as CD dot dot. Okay. All right, we're unlocking all the flags, man. All right, and then double-click documents. All right, they're just, they're just showing you the mapping between the file explorer and the terminal, okay? All right, let's go to that intercepted emails folder. Yeah, okay. So again, like, they're educating you. It it doesn't feel like education, right? It feels like you're just kind of hacking away with, with an AI bot, but they're reinforcing the commands that you've been typing multiple times and showing you a different way of how you can do it, again, to, to reiterate and, and maybe connect with you in a different way on what you're learning, okay? So let's click on this. Nice. All right, what's our next command here, buddy? All right. D yeah, okay, so double click. Good job, you can use both the file explorer and terminal commands to navigate the grid, yeah. Okay, so let's let's go. So the file explorer is obviously way faster. So let's do that. There's the Zion key. Just straight straight dominating. All right, so we just cleared that mission. Say ya. Uh... Perfect time for a guitar solo, right? Retro Arch. Gaming with the cat. Did you have RP Arcade? All right, mission complete. Nice job, everybody. Let's go to the map and see what we've unlocked. All right, let's keep going. So you can see how the world, you know, has been cleared, right? So we've done mission 1A and 1B. We're feeling pretty pretty good about ourselves and mission 2 is unlocked. So let's go let's dive right in there. Any music requests? Where are we at? I could play the entire wall. Oh, so we're going to actually learn some more some networking tools at this point now. It looks like ping's going to be up in here. All right, looks like we're going to get paid to do the job. DM from Dakar or Decker. All right, what's up, Jerry guy and rascal? Yeah, it is a really nice time here. You know what? I'm gonna um, I'm actually gonna do a, a song here. I haven't heard this song in a minute. Um. What, what, oh God, what song is it? What song's off Division Bell? Is this one? No. We'll give this one a shot. Okay, so we're gonna use ping now, guys. And curl. Curl is like, like a web browser, basically. Like, it, 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 it like, if you stripped a web browser down as far as you possibly could go, that's basically kind of what curl is. I mean, it's not going to render to the screen, but the way it queries a web server and pulls things back is essentially the same function. Okay, here we go. Let's ping an IP. 
So the first world was really around navigating on a box, even though we were jumping around. It's a single box, like navigating Linux. Now we're going to start stretching our arms out a little bit and um, touching things on the network. What, what am I missing? Am I new here? What am I, what am I doing wrong? Oh, stupid. All right, there we go. Typo. Yeah, I'll play, I'll play oh, Floyd. Oh man, Lane, I love me some Midnight. We might do this. We might, we might, do, I have a whole Midnight instrumental playlist. We could do that after this. All right, hold on. So we're going to use the uh, control C to break out of uh, ping. By the way, if anyone ever sends you this and tells you that they're hacking you, they're lying. <laughs> Not only are they lying, but it's ridiculous. All right, so we've got ping added to our man commands. That's good. Okay. All right, let's curl now. All right, and you can see we basically pulled back HTML, right? I bet the URL resolves to 191, 192, 129. That's right, it does. So now we're going to curl this URL, right? Nailed it! Uh-oh, she knows this guy. He's a member of the dealer's faction, but he's a scoundrel. With Agenda 21 financing them. A Agenda 21, group I'm a member with. Before she decodes a username and password, she needs one more piece of data, the IP address. See what else you can find on the website. So this is cool. Like, So now we're actually not being told exactly what to type, but we've got to figure it out. Since we just learned curl, maybe we curl this. Plus, they conveniently color-coded this a different color, so obviously this is, you know, what we're interested in. Boom. Roasted. Boom, roasted. All right. They hacked the Gibson. All right, cool, guys. We straight smoked that one like a pack of Newports. All right. We made it on the land. I'm sorry, Pink Floyd. But, like, this is... I can't. I can't. Let's gas the car up. Gas the car up, people. Smoke like a pack of Newports, Owen. All right, let's keep rolling. Da, 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 da. All right, let's use the file explorer. So we're on this ad, ad, admin box. Don't forget, always check your username and password. All right, so we're looking for files, right? I'm just going to use the file explorer to cheat. Nailed it. So as the windows pop up, you start kind of like not seeing stuff. Now, if I was, if I wasn't playing on stream, if I was playing for myself, I would take time to read these. I would document these um, IP addresses I'm finding, but I'm I'm speed running right now. So let's keep. You can see here we we did this already. Okay. I'm just iterating over these things. Oh, we got another piece of information. Attack target B. Boom, baby, boom. And a bunch of interesting information. Okay. So is Rascal taking notes down for me? Oh, we should confirm that. All right, he is taking some notes down, so I feel pretty good about what we're doing.
Alright. Oh yeah, you know when the when the you know when the letter's called AZS Security Access, you got something. Oh, Lane. Dude, Lane, the the Crockett's Revenge, the saxophone on that song. <laughs> I got pregnant listening to it. Sit back and let that wash over you. Hmm. Well, now I'm starting to iterate over other things I've already seen, but I'm looking for stock symbols. Where are the stock symbols, y'all? Stock symbols, where are you? Hmm. Oh, so dude, what, what are we doing here? These are stock symbols, am I wrong? Mega core stock symbols? What am I? Simple? I right, hey, anyone in chat? Is there anyone in chat who might? Let's see. This looks like an important file. We better copy that into our notebook. Oh. Oh, hold on. I guess we should have. Hold on. I, I think I was supposed to copy something. Let me see there. Right? So I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna hit save file, save file. Okay, Maybe that didn't work. Rascal's notes, my notes. Okay. Hmm. I need an adult. Hmm. Is Vincent in the chat? What am I what am I missing here guys? What am I missing? So this land's configured in a mesh pattern. It makes it efficient for each pattern to talk to each other. Um if you hack into just one of these servers, you can connect to all of them. OG, uh, that's October Guard. Yeah. Find AZS file and cyber target attacks. I did all these. Here are my flags up here. It says find Megacorp stock symbols. These look like Megacorp stock symbols. So I'm really unsure about how to, how to unlock the flag. Yeah, but you see what I'm looking at here, right? Hmm. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Give me a second. Oh, Jenny, am I? Okay, let's take a look. So we're all the way at the root directory now, right? Just moving from left to right. ABM report. Nothing. Uh, all right. Right, uh, that's okay. And then October report. And targeted facilities. That's the SOC symbols that I thought I needed. Downloads. Oh, here it is. Jenny! Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, team. Okay, so let's see. Not you, Siri. I don't need you helping me out over here. All right, so let's see. See, it, it gives you like visual indicators that you should um, like click on this thing, which I like. What is going on? Why can't I talk to my my robots? 
Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh. I may have encountered a bug. Oh, by the way, while we're uh, while we're here, it does keep track of the skills you develop. Um, like, you know, it, net stat we haven't done yet, but you can see um, under system navigation, we've spent a minute and 51 seconds typing in these things, cat 250, right? So it is kind of cool. It does keep track of what you do. It seems I cannot... Yeah, Siri must have got her feelings hurt because I cannot open this um, Nitro Messenger chat window. Arr! All right, so I guess I exit. Hold on, can we go to the map? Let me see, let me see, let me see. All right. Siri, yeah, she did get me back, I suppose, man. Oh, I don't know what happened, but this new network unlocked. So let's let's keep grinding, y'all. I think we just like hacked the Gibson. All right, let's keep rolling. Oh no, I need to be able to see her. Oh, there it is. Good. All right, EOS former Mancer. This right here is uh she's another like friend so we're gonna do if config and end map so now and like end map is the first tool that we're gonna get to use that isn't a like linux based tool right like you end map is a separate distro i think it's um was it fjordor that that uh authors it the tool has been around forever it's it's such a it's such a a uh, seminal tool in the toolbox, and I love that they start with Nmap, frankly. So let's pick, let's ping. Um, all right, so we need a Gen 21's IP address. So let's figure out what that is. All right, it's right here. Now we can copy and paste in this game, which is pretty dope. All right, so we just did, we just did it. Everything's looking tight. All right, so we're gonna use Nmap to scan it. Okay. Now, another thing that that World of Haiku does that's great is Nmap has like 50 different flags that you can do. It's a very, very uh, dynamic tool that can do a lot of different things. And they don't want you to know that right away because they don't want you to get overwhelmed or fe feel confused or anything like that. So what they um, do is they, they basically give you a stripped down kind of busy box version of Nmap. And then they slowly start adding functionality to it. That way you can actually focus on learning versus um, playing with, you know, uh, arguments and stuff that you don't you don't need to be messing with right now. All right, so they do spend a minute talking about NetMask to tell you how big the uh, IP range is. So this is a slash 24, um, which means that like 0 to 255 effectively is the network, right? The 255 is the broadcast address, but uh, you wouldn't assign an IP an endpoint and IP to that, but. All right, um, to find the first IPE, use IF config. So I, I am like speed running through this, but just know that they are teaching you a little basics of network fundamentals right now. All right, so let's, oh cool. So we're gonna use a slash 24, as I mentioned earlier. That's called CIDR notation, C-I-D-R, CIDR notation. Um, okay. Oh, there's a net mass conversion chart in the manual. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, this is something everybody should have tattooed on their fore, on their inner part of their forearm. Subnet, subnet masking, like, it's cool until you need it. Just like regex, it's cool. <laughs> and then when you need it, you're like, oh my God, I got to Google this. All right. So let's go ahead and end map all of the things nice guys we did it here's a question i posed as a blue teamer i know nmap can be very noisy in the logs and may set off alarms so how would you cover your tracks when doing that well 
One of the things you can do is, uh, yeah, Adam mentioned stealth scan. You can also like slow it down, like using the, the dash T and then like one or two. That way it's like low and slow and can kind of hide because uh, it's not it's not noisy, basically. But stealth scans too. I mean, if you hit a honeypot, you hit a honeypot though. You can't do anything about that. Okay, so we got some sweet data. We're unlocking devices all over the place. Ping. Oh, she knows the name. Eos. Kunwu. Cybermancer. He's the head of Agenda 21. Ooh. It's getting, it's getting saucy. Saucy! It's getting spicy up in here. All right. All right, so we're going to scrape every bit of information we can, okay? So for the sake of time, I'm going to use the File Explorer and just start going YOLO on this guy's network. We're talking about Bitcoin transactions. Ooh, account files. All sorts of jewels up in here. All right. That's who they're paid to initiate the cyber attacks. We're on to it. Catalyst. All right, server IP, that's got to be important to Agenda 21, Rascal. Make sure you copy that down in Jerry Guy's notebook. Thanks, Rascal. You got it. Uh, I'm going to get us into a different host on the network. Let's see what other goodies we can find. Nice job, guys. Nice job, y'all. We're on to the next mission. Oh, hey, Gaming with the Cat. I'll probably play... Um, or like 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. I want to, I, I think if I beat this level, I'll be able to unlock a dojo and show you guys what the dojo looks like. All right. So he just moved, he SSH'd us around again. I wish they kind of just mentioned like briefly, like, oh, you, you know, we're going to move you around using SSH, but you'll do it for yourself later. Okay. All right. Go ahead and click through the files. All right. Here we go. Ooh, juicy. We're looking for the Lendway target. There it is. Nice, y'all. Nice, y'all. That's Azure Star. Their computer supplier monopoly. Super micro. All right, let's get out of Agenda 21's network before it's too late. Send it to Gun Gear. Nice, everybody. Nice. Nice. We did it. Beat that level, too. Let's see if we get the dojo now. So, the, these cutscenes, like, the story is... The story is improving. The story... The story, the world building's developing. They're talking about World War Three overnight. The stakes are getting higher. Uh, so, when you're actually uh, racing against the clock, you feel a little bit more engaged. Like, you know, it's 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 a story. It's an interactive story that, that teaches you something. Again, if you guys are interested, um, links in the description below if you're interested in learning more about um, what I'm playing, World of Haiku. Now, I think we might get a dojo here. We get a dojo? Oh, we didn't get a dojo. All right. I'll play one more really quickly. All right, here we go. Ping ABM, use curl, discover HHS addresses, use SSH. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Oh, thanks, Gaming for the Cat. I'm glad you're staying. I will I will uh, keep keep it honest here. All right, so this guy's talking about 10 advanced Ketanese class nuclear war missiles in the air. Uh-oh. They're headed for the Allied Asia Empire. All right, so there's nuclear missiles in the air. Um, the stakes are very high. We need to get in here and shut this down ASAP. All right, use ping tool to see if we have access to the ABM site. Okay, so let's look at our notes. Rascal's notes. ABM is this IP right here. So let's go ahead and... All right, let's ping that. Okay, looks like they're up. Good. Now let's curl. Remember, we got to hit control C to do that. Let's curl that IP address, figure out what's going on over there. 
All right, so this is the first time that it's not obvious, right? So you can pull the robots file, maybe to get a little bit more information. And we got something, right? So we know that there's a location called that. So let's, let's look at that, right? Did I do that wrong? Oh, there's two Ds. Boom. Roasted. Boom. Roasted. All right, let's keep going. I think I have enough to decode the username and password. Uh, once he has the credentials, they'll use it for SSH. This is cool. So the username is Wicket and the password is Panda. Let's do it. So now we're learning SSH, which is great. Oh, good to see you, Cyber Munchkin. Glad you're uh, feeling better. Glad you're here with us. All right, so let's do this. Guys, SSH is another one of those like Linux commands that you just, you almost type it, um, you know, without, without thinking. <laughs> Cause it's so common. It's like how you access. Um, what did I do wrong here? Username is Wicket. What did I mess up here? What IP at ABM network? What, what am I new here? 191, 192.15. SSH. What am I dumb? What am I, what am I missing here? It's Wicket at IP address, right? Username is Wicket. The ABM network is 191.192.1.5. Right, the heck am I missing here? Hmm, was I supposed to hold on? What did I miss? So, by the way, he used John earlier to, to decode that thing. No, I mean, uh, Cyber Munchkin, it literally says like cannot connect to host, <laughs> like it's not listening on port 22 for some reason, like. I don't know if I can use Nmap right here. Yeah, see how it's not listening on port 22? I must have I must I must be moving too quick and miss something. Couple minutes here. So SSH. You can use secure shell to connect to that server inside the ABM network. Use Check your manual for more ways you... Hmm. I am vexed. Like, what am I... What am I missing here? Oh, okay. Thank you. Jenny, you should play on stream. <laughs> you should play on stream. You're saving my bacon here. Thanks, Jenny. 192.168.1162. Let's see what's up. Oh, Jenny. Jenny for the win. Jenny's my co-pilot. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. All right, guys. Let's see. I said three more minutes. Um, oh, thanks for uh, gifting out uh, or for the squad support, Cyber Munchkin. Oh, don't worry about that. You, you, um, you get better. The daily briefings will be there when you get back. All right. They do talk about bus and mesh networks and stuff like that. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, the War Horseman virus might be called Big Red or Red Dawn. Let's look for that. You will need to find the infected device. Oh, now look up here at the top. Uh, let me let me show you this really quickly. Um, there is a timer going right here. So we have to find this before the time runs out, which totally puts a pressure on us. So let's let's start looking. Right? This is the benefit of, of having the file explorer. You can move way faster. This is how we enumerate directories. 
This is how we enumerate directories. Did I just do this? Am I? Yeah, I did. Let's go to the trash. Hold on, what? Hold on. I'm I'm stupid. What am I doing? All right, so I've exhausted mail. Hold on, are we supposed to go to other machines? You need to find it infected the infected device manually. Oh, oh, okay. So let's 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 SSH around. All right, now let's we're in here. Let's look around here. Day trader in a sunshine jumpsuit in a neck tattoo. Oh my gosh, this doesn't feel right. I should have totally. Oh, here's another one. Like, so this is definitely like reckless. Um, the way I'm playing right now, I would normally be documenting all this stuff, but I'm trying to. Um, Move fast. Oh my god. Did I spell all that right? SSH Audubon at 192.168.1241. And then... Let's do this. Hmm. Not correct. What was that? Do you guys remember that other... Uh, I should go back in the stream. There was another... Um, there was another um, like username and password. Right? It's this one. SSH Cobra at 192.168.1.142 Ricky... Ticky Tavi. All right, cool. So let's keep iterating. Missile testing, what? Doesn't sound good. All right, so we're just looking for something called red, right? Come on, man. Where you at? Where you at? Bushwick. All right, so can I... Maybe I can go over to this one now. Come on, let me... Like, this... I mean, I don't know if this will work because it wasn't um, listening on 22. Okay, whatever. All right. Uh, none of that says anything about red. None of that says anything about red. None of that's red. Come on, man. What the hell? No. I'm looking for this manually, people. Come on. I am feeling a little uh, rushed. Not because of the timer, but because I, I wanted to end this stream. Ugh. This is another. This is another account right here, right? Okay. Dude, we are deep in this network. We are like so deep in this network. Come on, boy. I don't know what that is. Let's, uh, let's back up. All right, that's the only thing. Let's click it. Hmm. Is that just trying to run cat on it? What are we doing here? What am I supposed to do with this? Anybody in chat? Ricky Dicky. Dude, what in the hell? What is... 
I'm like so deep in this network. I don't even know what's going on right now. Like I'm, I'm like up to my eyeballs in this thing. We got this tar file. Can we, can we, oh wait, hold on. Nice. We got the horseman virus. To neutralize it, you need to know the path to the Zion key. Path of where the file is located and how to get there. The path of viruses. First, the documents directly, then control, then the file containing the virus. Writing it out would look like this. Okay. Is that the same file name? C3. Yes. Okay. Now try to neutralize the virus with the Zion key by type on Zion path to file. Well, you know I'm going to copy paste this, right? Oh, you can't, you can't stop this, man. You can't stop this, brah. Come at me, brah. All right, so, uh, the file's readable now. Let's take a, let's take a little sniff, shall we? Nice job, everyone. Nice, nice job. All right, the next target is October Guard to penetrate, located in Moscow. So you can see, like, they slowly have built us up. We learned basic Linux commands, and then we took on um, some, like, networking commands, and then we you know, used Nmap, which is, you know, a very important seminal tool, but it's not part of the Linux base, right? So it's, it's, we're starting to add to our toolbox. Again, walk, crawl, run. Uh, and we also had a like timed activity. So it was a little bit more skin in the game. A lot of, a lot of fun here, guys. We just blasted through these. Let me see what else we got. The dojo is unlocked. Gaming with the cat. Uh, thanks for staying. Jenny Housley, thanks for the coffee. I love it, love it, love it, guys. I'm going to take five seconds and just show you this. You see we've unlocked this dojo. There are three dojos right now, but in the future, they will be continually updating the content, including new dojos, so more than three, new missions, just like this one down here they added, um, new tools in expanded blue and red team missions. Um, they're also going to be allowing users, this is pretty cool, they're going to be allowing users to create their own dojo challenges, um, and there'll be like leaderboards on World of Haiku and um, the, the profile sharing that I showed you earlier. So this is one dojo really quickly. I'm not going to play through it, but I am going to show you what it is. All right. Here's another kind of uh, buddy, a bot that helps us do our jobs. Okay. So here we go. Find SA's version on Ashley's PC. All right. Hold on. He's explaining what dojos are. I've already done it, so thanks, Bumblebee Bot, but we've got it from here. Okay. Hold on one second. Um, why does it say I can't go in there? <laughs> is anyone else seeing that? I don't know. Enter flag file name. Okay, so flag... So this is just a quick little tutorial on how to use the flagging system in the game. That's it. So they they do a good job of explaining how to use the dojo before they give you the dojo challenges. Now you can see that the flags have all open. These are all dynamically generated and it'll be different every time you access the dojo. But um, you can see here, get out of my way, buddy. Um, you've got all these different PCs on the network. You have to find the one that says Ashley. Um, since that is the the first flag, I'm just going to quickly, quickly do one. Oh, there it is. So Ashley's right there. Um, you can see it's 191, 124, 176, 141. So if you um, nmap dash SV, and you can use the man, well, hold on. So man nmap, this whole room is around nmap, right? So you can do man nmap, you get all the different things. So you can do SV. TAC O, and then 191.124.176.141. What did I miss here? What do you mean? No targets were specified. 
Oh. So you can see we did it. It's Ashley's PC. Here's what's going on here. She's running SSH version two. So the flag, um, you have to do man flag because I forget the flag system because that's unique to them. But um, services list version. So flag SSH 2.0. or SSH dash two, excuse me. So I didn't get credit for that. So there we go. So really quickly, you can see I put in the flag according to what they want. And then I've done this. This is what the dojo is. All right, guys, um, I'm gonna play one song because I feel like I feel like um, we earned it. And I'll have a big flip out. How many people are on chat here? Still 39. Guys, we've been playing World of Haiku live. Um, I have access to beta content, but everything that we did today, you can also play. And um, I'm telling you, you can learn basic Linux skills. You can drill on Nmap, John the Ripper, and Hydra. Uh, it, it's a really cool world. It's a Steam game. Uh, it's priced really, really reasonably, and the Haiku team behind it are actively doing new dojos, new missions, new story building. Um, it's very, very cool. I enjoy playing it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the Hangout, guys. But there's a, this song has a drop to it that I absolutely love that I want to do. Uh, I'll be playing Haiku Pro on November 21st at 4 p.m., but this is our reward right here. Yes. So good, guys. So good. This is the reward for hard work. Yes. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Leave a like if you're interested. Otherwise, I hope to see you all tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Uh, for my Simply Cyber Daily Cyber Threat Briefing. Uh, I do it every every morning, and tomorrow will be 8 a.m., Okay. Jenny Housley, I owe you a cup of coffee. You saved my bacon twice tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, get the haiku polo jerseys. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Chris Weaver, we are just wrapping up, guys. Thanks, Carrie. We'll, we'll drop this hammer one more time before we end the stream. All right, Casey, be good. Everybody, stay tuned for tomorrow morning, and uh, there'll be a big AMA on, yeah. It's election day, so. So good. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for having fun. I absolutely, absolutely love streaming. And uh, because of an audience like you guys, it, it, the, the Simply Cyber community is so dynamite. You guys are the best. Thank you. Take care, everybody. We'll see you in the morning.